Good day and welcome to Women on the Move Live. I'm your host, Kim McNair. Now, you know this show is for women who are in business, about business, and ready to do business. So if you're a small business owner, if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a pay setter in the community, this show is for you. So I want you to call a friend, tweet a friend, and let them know that Women on the Move Live is on the air. My guest today is the Advocacy Manager for AARP of Georgia. I want you all to welcome Melissa Sinden. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, I'm glad you had time to stop by and see us today. So advocacy, you're the mm -hmm. Advocacy Manager uh, with AARP. So how long is that if you've been in that role? How long have you been with AARP of Georgia, maybe? Sure. So I've been with uh, AARP about four years, almost four years. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do the advocacy work here in Georgia. Um, interestingly, AARP has an, a state office in every state as well as D.C., Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Wow. So there's one of me in every state across okay. the country. One of you in every state. That's right. Okay. At least one of me, At least actually. One. And you all, do you all get together and kind of collaborate on what's going on in the different areas? We do. We have uh, regular conference calls where we can connect um, around the country and talk about what's happening in each state and also what's happening federally. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. as an advocate for AARP, now is that is that a lobby or is that not a lobbyist? How does that? That's a great question. So um, an advocate really can mean a, a myriad of things, but mm -hmm. for me, I am a registered lobbyist. Um, but we also have advocates that are volunteers for AARP mm -hmm. who visit the Capitol with me uh -huh. and talk with legislators and, and influence policy. So there's many different roles that you can play. Um, however, as I said, I am a registered lobbyist. I also want to point out, though, that AARP is a nonpartisan organization, so we don't endorse or support candidates, but we ah. do get involved in issues that impact the 50-plus population. Okay, so what current bills are out there? What we what we advocating for? Yes, so uh, <laughs> the session just wrapped. We have a very short session here in Georgia. Um, it's a 40-day session. It's not 40 consecutive days, but they ended at the end of March. And one of the bills that passed um, was a power of attorney update bill. Wow. Uh, there was a okay. Uniform Power of Attorney Act that passed last year, and this bill made some changes to that. The reason the power of attorney bill was so important was mm -hmm. because it ha the policy hadn't been updated in many, many years. Wow. So as you can imagine, with the invention of the Internet and things like yes, that, that's right, that's <laughs> powers right. of attorney have changed over time. And so it was necessary to do that updating to make sure that those who are properly using powers of attorney can continue to do so. Okay. But if you are one of the bad actors out there and using power of attorney to scam people, mm. that you'll be punished accordingly. So Look that was that. one of the, yeah. Good, punished, that's right. right, that's good. Okay, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. So telehealth, I see, yes. I, um, tell me about telehealth, is it, is it, just tell me about it, it's a virtual yeah. medical system? Because I don't know, and probably some of the viewers, they, they may not know as well. Absolutely, so telehealth is kind of a new frontier for healthcare, and it's really important here in Georgia because there are so many rural rural areas and as you know so many rural hospitals have closed so a lot of people oh, have yes. to travel far distances for health care mm -hmm. so um, telehealth can really bridge the gap for those folks and we're seeing now where you can actually have a doctor's appointment from your iPad and they have tools now where you can plug in the doctor can plug in a stethoscope on his end via Bluetooth and here on your end as if he's right there in the room. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> we go, roll, roll, what? Now, mm -hmm. wait a minute, he's on the doc, with your iPad, mm -hmm. he's on one end, yes. he can attack, he can put his stethoscope, mm -hmm. stethoscope, stethoscope. Uh -huh. on the iPad, uh -huh. and then hear, hear what's going on with me on this yes. end. Yes, yes. And with the invention of oh, things wow. like the Apple Watch, you can yes. actually track you know, maybe somebody that has high blood pressure or insulin levels and things like that, uh -huh. all of that can be done virtually now. So it really cuts down on the barriers to this type of care. Look at te technology. <laughs> wow, this is great, though. I didn't yeah. even know. I was like, tell her. I was reading. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, so how is this working virtually right. so they can do? This is amazing. Yes. I mean, this, I mean, in the benefits of it, and like you said, in the rural areas. Mm -hmm. So once they do that, they can... Once they are able to get a signal or whatever it is they get, they can say, mm -hmm. okay, you need to go now, or maybe you need to do this, and they can maybe call in a prescription or do something like that. Absolutely. So uh, they can diagnose and they can prescribe from wherever they are. As long mm -hmm. as you know they're licensed to practice in Georgia, they can do that. So 
uh, it really opens up a lot of opportunities. Another area that you may not necessarily think of mm -hmm. that benefits from telehealth are veterans. Um, oh, oftentimes yes. they have to travel very far for facilities and also active duty military can continue to see their doctors back home when they're overseas. So there's really you know, limitless possibilities for this technology. This is great. Yeah, but to your point about not really knowing what telehealth is, we find that that's the case with most people. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we'll be doing is a telehealth summit later this year where Good. we'll bring together all of the industry stakeholders from, you know, have some dem demonstrations on how to mm -hmm. use these various machines and how the average citizen can you know take advantage of these opportunities so we're looking forward to that this is good i love it i yeah. love it aarp of georgia is doing some, aarp peer, but aarp <laughs> right. of georgia is doing some amazing things right and um you know again to be able to educate people on keeping my breast on the power of attorney situation mm -hmm. that that is important because we know it's a lot of scams yes a lot of fraud going on there and we have to make sure we protect uh, the elderly protect each other Absolutely. and all that we do yeah, there were a few bills passed this session which aimed to do just that, protect mm -hmm. the elders from financial exploitation mm -hmm. and, you know, elder abuse. We're seeing more and more as people are moving into in-home care and assisted mm -hmm. living facilities scenarios. Um, so there's a lot of support over at our legislature, which is great for these types of issues to really protect these vulnerable populations that need it so much. Melissa, this is great. You, I mean, a wealth of knowledge. You have just shared so much with us today. And I just want to thank you, thank you. for uh, just, just stopping by and keeping us informed. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, look, we're going to take a break, and I'll be right back. At Just For You, we provide a full range of women's services. We are passionate about providing personalized and intensive care to help our patients walk through the many phases of a woman's life. We provide preconceptual counseling, pregnancy and postpartum care, well woman exams, and menopause treatment, including bioidentical hormone therapy. We are located at 3976 Highway 42 in Locustville, Georgia. Well, my next guest is a dear friend, and she's a powerhouse businesswoman. I want you all to welcome Lorraine Johnson. How you doing, Lorraine? I am good, and Kim, thank you. I, I so appreciate you having me here. Oh, you look good, Means girl. World I'm to loving me. those boots. Well, you know, that's what a sister does. She yes, loves her yes. Ornaments and, and, and we are fancy. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, looking good. I love it. I love it. Well, you know, this show is for, it's for us. It's our platform. That's so right. we have to do it well. <laughs> now, I did not know you were from Alabama. Alabama. Oh, yes. Born, raised, and proud. I think the best people in the world come from the South. Um, so, spent all my early years there. And, of uh -huh. course, you know, work uh -huh. uh, at law school brought me to Atlanta. But from lower Alabama, I often joke and say L.A., Get out. Uh, yeah, oh, Lower Alabama, lower Greenville. Alabama. People oh, don't wow. know where it is. Get out of here. <laughs> and I'm thinking you were from Georgia all this time. Oh, yeah. no, but I, I feel like, you know, when you're from the South, you mm -hmm. feel it's it's all relative. All, okay, it's all, all good. Relative. It's all home. <laughs> yes, all yes. Right. Well, now, reading your bio and just doing, doing my research, you got to do our research. You talking about a decade in print media, mass oh, yeah. communication. Come on. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. And then you, since, I guess, 2015, you became the uh, the general manager of Real Times Media. Talk about those brands. You're doing some amazing things. Oh, yeah. Um, print has been my life, uh -huh. uh, I think. And it's sort of funny because technically I have three degrees in law school, but nothing I ever did was technically associated <laughs> with print media. Get out. But I enjoy writing. And oh. I have an MPA, so <clears throat> from a technical standpoint, uh -huh. it was just a natural progression. Yes. So I uh, spent a day, over a decade with Creative Loafing. And uh, then moved into the digital space. Right, so we started right. the That's whole film, television side. Wonderful. And one day got a call from someone who introduced Real Times Media uh -huh. um, and the opportunity with the Atlanta Daily World. And of course, Atlanta Daily World is history. Yes. So it yes. was an honor to work with Real Times Media, Hiram Jackson, and the brand. All right. So, um, all right. I transitioned into that. And of course, Real Times is the largest conglomerate 
of African American newspapers in wow. the world. In the world. In the world. Wow, look at this. this yeah. is, I mean, and look who running things. This girl, this Listen, is great. Listen, I wouldn't say I run. I, I function. <laughs> let, let me be on what I do because, of course, our three properties here in Atlanta. We yes. have the Atlanta Daily World, we have Atlanta Tribune, uh -huh. and we have, of course, Who's Who in Black oh, Atlanta. I, I, I got mine and, over here. Yes, uh, as you I, should. I made sure and, I had, and it, it's time. This is, a, this is the one I'm in. I'm in uh, 2016. I'm in 2016. So you need to submit your profile. Oh, okay. Um, I get to go again? Absolutely. Oh, All you need to I didn't do, know that. Each year, you just update your profile and you stay a part of the network. Get out. I yeah. didn't know so that because last that. year I came out supporting because I'm, I'm, I'm class of 2016 and look at uh -uh. that. No, and I could have no. been, a, I been, been a, class a class of 2017. But now we know we'll be a class, class of 2018. 2018. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Won't he do it? Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, oh gosh, Lorraine, you, you do so many amazing things. And I know we met through the Clayton County Chamber. Yes, we did. Because um, I'm on the Women of Business Council. Yes. And we met some time ago with that. But you are a community leader. I mean, you're a, you're a mom, and you've done some amazing yeah. things for Destiny uh, Academy. Destiny Achievers Academy of yes. Excellence. Yes, $200,000 you raised yes. for technology and revitalization. Yeah. Is, I'm, I'm getting in, it right. In, in 2017. In tw okay, okay, in talk about it, because we um, need to know. Yeah, you know, as I said, being a writer, a uh -huh. grant writer, um, if I see a proposal and there's money there and I know someone who mm -hmm. it works for, I go after it. <clears throat> of course, Destiny, they literally service the least, the less, and the loss when it comes to children. So they have very high-risk children. Mm. Um, but the school is doing a phenomenal job. Um, of course, Dr. Griffin, he... He just, he's, he's amazing. Wow. So they make it easy. And I would like to personally right now plug and thank T-Mobile. Oh, okay. Because T-Mobile, they provided us with a grant that was uh, over $120,000 wow. for school revitalization. Uh, because, of course, you know, nowadays budgets in schools mm -hmm. don't meet the full need. Yes, so we see that. So oftentimes, yeah, you know, it's up to us as a community to come together, mm -hmm. especially when children have special needs. Yes. So that that grant was in, uh, phenomenal. Wow. Um, and beyond that, we also uh, had our first gala last year. And oh, thanks to Judge dressed Hatchet. up the kids. Okay. Yeah. And, the, and the kids, everybody she got was, all dressed up. Yes. I love it. And and for some of the children, you know that that was that was very special mm -hmm. because in many cases they only have the opportunities that we create. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because they come from challenged homes. So Judge Glenda Hatchett was our keynote speaker. Wonderful. And, and there was a, a, a nostalgia in the air, Kim, that you just had to be there. I was Get thankful out. to be a part of it. Well, Thank look, you. We're going to take a break, guys, and we're going to be back with the entrepreneur, Lorraine Johnson. Thank you. Hi, this is Trina Braxton, owner of Bar Chicks, and you're watching Women on the Moon Live with Kim McNair. Well, we are back. Lorraine, this is great. I'm just I'm enjoying right. you. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, we need to get. We just need to go out and have some tea. Uh, I, I drink or coffee. Cocktails. Okay. Oh, I do all those right. two okay. after six now. Okay. So all right. Daytime television. Time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, entrepreneur, you are an entrepreneur. Um, yes. You created the, this lovely eyewear that you're yes. wearing, uh, and and I'm loving it. I mean, it's a signature out the, throughout a Atlanta. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is definitely a signature piece, and it's Lois. Or Louise Lorraine. Louise Lorraine. Louise and, Lorraine. And Louise, that, that was my mom. Oh, um, wow. Yes, she, she transitioned in 2010. And, and Kim, the brand is so new. Uh-huh. But it has been so well received that I really feel she's kind of watching she, over this yeah, thing. Yeah, she handling it. I really do. She's I navigating do. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you got, look, your, your manager is still managing. That's right. She's still in control. And sometimes I laugh because mm -hmm. things that have happened have been so uncanny uh -huh. to be so new as mm -hmm. a brand that I would have thought it would have taken me years wow. to open some doors for mm -hmm. even retail consideration that, that, that have been open. So, um, you know, I'm very excited because like you, you know, with your show, uh -huh. you know, when you have a baby and you nurture it, yes, girl. or you're passionate, the passion, that's, that's the word. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll let you do your Yeah, but you know, you I, you know I, tell, I try to tell a lot of business women, you know, we have, because we all have different things and facets that we do, you have to focus on that mission. Yes. Not so much a position. If I just focus on the position to be, I'm the host, I'm the host, I'll never get, my whole yeah. thing, this platform is for you all. It's for us. It's for the women to be able to get their message across because at one time mm -hmm. we didn't have a way to do that. We couldn't even get at the table. No. So now things Absolutely. have changed uh, and I'm just so 
glad to be able to offer that to so many women that are in the community that are doing great things. And even through the product line with what you're doing, uh, share with the women. I want you to be able, when it comes to wanting to put something together, because you know we, we know we can design a t-shirt, but in something like this, there's, there's patterns. It's a lot. Uh, I mean, you lot. have to look at the, the, the material. So t talk to me a little bit yeah. about the journey of getting, you know, getting to. Getting to this point. And, mm -hmm. and let me say, um, I never could have done this but for, as, oh. as we say in law school, but for mm -hmm. the fact that I had developed brands for other people for years. Wow. All I've ever done all my life mm -hmm. is that writing and marketing. So mm. even when I've had gainful employment, as I do now, uh -huh. I've always operated my marketing form on okay. the side because I've had clients that I've had now for two decades uh -huh. and some even longer. But, um, you know, when I joined the 40 plus club, all right, all right. Uh, I remember ain't nothing, you know, 40 is a new 30. Yes. Okay. Hey. You know, I, I subscribed <laughs> to Jay-Z on that one. Okay. But, um, I went to the doctor and of course uh -huh. I, they put me in a bifocal, but mm. because at that time I was wearing contacts, I had one I close and the other far away. Oh, wow. And it was uh, my equilibrium yeah, didn't work you, I don't the know, way I, it used yeah, to. How could you drive? Yeah. I'm too close to the car, too far so from the car. I, I, didn't, the? I didn't like that. So yes. I decided, okay, it's time for you to start wearing glasses. Uh -huh. But I couldn't find what I wanted because, you know, I'm a little opulent. Yes. And I just didn't like anything. So um, my aunt, uh, Annie Page, she's All a huge right. inspiration behind this. And my husband, he stepped in and started to encourage me. Uh, and they said, well, Lorraine, you develop product for everyone else. Why do your do own. something for yourself. So wow. um, I started the research. And I will say to you that one of the, the biggest challenges for mass production of a product mm -hmm. is those min minimum order quantities. Oh, um, I thank God okay. that I was able to totally self-finance. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be looking at probably a six-figure Wow. Ordeal. Um, in order to get a product to market the right way. The right way. Okay. So, not, out the, not out the trunk of the car. Not out the trunk of the car. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. To get it to market the right way. Because mm -hmm. for me, I started with concepts. Because I studied eyewear. I studied the different shapes. Mm -hmm. Also, the African American. The depth of our face. See, it is look deeper at that. than the Caucasian and other counterparts. Look at that. So I created a frame that is at least three to four centimeters longer so when people put on the frames and they say, oh, these fit well, as they should. Look okay? at that. Look at so that. So, I, I mean, great. I considered, you know, as well as men. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. and now I look at people from the side and the temple to see what how it fits. And, you know, okay. I, I pay attention to see, detail. But, they, but see, people don't, okay. I mean, they think, okay, because you, you, there are a lot of, uh, I'll say celebrities, there are a lot of people that are coming out with eyewear. Mm -hmm. and, and it's a lot going into that. You know, of course, they may just be the face of the brand. Right. But you did it from, I mean, you are the man. You went from, you know, from the beginning to the end to get to this point. You studied mm -hmm. it. I mean, who, who I, knew? I, literally. I didn't know the depth of eyes was different from, <laughs> yeah. what? Yeah, and, and it comes down to, I don't think with other manufacturers, it's not that they don't know. But it's not that they have to adjust and spend more money because people will buy. Get but out for of here. me, wow. it's those it's that attention to detail mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. I felt would propel the brand. That's um, right down to the grade of acetate that I use. Acetate is like rubber. Wow. You can choose different levels. Uh -huh. um, if you are, and I won't name any any names, but yeah. I'm familiar with all major designers right. um, that are in our Neiman's, our Nordstrom's, our Bergdorf's, mm -hmm, Barney's. Mm -hmm. Um, most of them are producing at a, between a 10 and 11 grade acetate. Okay. But I produce at a 14. All right. The now. highest available. Oh, stop. So when the product okay. is brine, it gives it a, a, a greater luster than you'll find. Wow. So even me, I'm careful because I don't want to put fingerprints on my glasses. Okay. You know, but <laughs> it's that kind of thing that, well, these, you know, I mean, these I mean, are amazing. Get. So, um, okay, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a pair on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> And watch okay. that fit. Let me see. Look at that. And that is you. Oh. I did good. I know faces. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's for, that's, uh, you're going to love that. I'm going to love this, Yeah. Huh? That, oh, that, wow. that is for you. And I, of course, I'm gifting. I'm gifting today. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, we'll do oh. private fittings. I want you to see yourself. You uh -huh. just put it on. But, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm doing that. I mean, that. a product. Uh, uh, for men and women, mm -hmm. but by a woman, a powerhouse businesswoman. Lorraine, you have, you just, uh, just done the doggone <laughs> thing. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to have my private fitting. But thank you for sharing and being able to uh, elaborate a little bit more in depth for people yes. that need to know how to put a product together or bring a brand to, 
to the yeah. table and get it, you know, where it needs to be. Um, and then the great things you're doing in the community. I mean, what you're doing Thank for you. the school and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get in the class of 2018. I got whatever I need to do, I need to get going. Just submit, just it's press sub submit, go submit. online and submit Okay, the I'm going to do that and just keep doing the things that you're doing. Um, I, I, you. I can't wait for the next venture. You, you look fabulous. So, Thank you, um, Kim. And like you said, presentation is everything. Yes, it is. And a lot of women. A tree is known by its fruit. So Ugh. what they see is what they believe and that's what they should get. So, All right. Did y'all get that? All right. I love it. <laughs> well, look, guys, I'm going to take a break and I'll be right back. At Laser Lights Cosmetic Laser Center, your family. We offer a comprehensive menu of cosmetic procedures from non-surgical fat reduction to laser hair removal. Our medical director, Dr. David Whiteman, along with our skilled medical team, provides top-notch care in a friendly, comforting environment. Welcome to Laser Lights Cosmetic Laser Center. I'm Jackie Madison, the practice administrator here, and I'd like to welcome you to our family. My next guest is the president of the Atlanta chapter of the Delta Sigma Theta alumni. How are you? I'm Ms. great, thank you. Thanks Camille for having me. Camille Ziegler. Yes, yes, yes. You look good, you're red. Well, thank you, I'm trying you to represent. represent. That's right, that's right. <laughs> it looks good Thank on you, you so very much. Thank oh, you. Oh, I'm glad you had time to come by and sit with us and just chat a little bit. I know you have a lot of sorrows that are mm -hmm. be watching and supporting. My doctor is a Delta, so she, Dr. Lori Johnson, she, and she's, you know, she's you well a fabulous into, doctor. Yes. <laughs> I know what to get her every birthday and Christmas. <laughs> well, look, now you guys, um, you know, I was reading my notes and uh, and it talked about some of the things that you're, you're doing it that that's in the forefront of expunging people's records. Yes. Tell me, talk a little bit about that, because you're doing something with the Solicitor General with, yes. with Fulton County. Yes, we are. Uh, when I met the Solicitor General, he was running for office. Uh huh. And I said, and I was running for office. Oh, okay. So I said, if we win, we are going to partner because both of us believe very strongly mm -hmm. in this expungement program and trying to help our youth, mm -hmm. our young people, so that they can have a chance in life. Right. And uh, we decided to get together on January the 27th. Mm -hmm. And throughout our meetings, we said, well, we will get about 450 people to okay. come to get their records expunged. Saturday morning, it was pouring down rain. Oh, wow. Over 1,500 people wonderful. came out to get their records expunged. Oh, that is amazing. Doing, oh, yes. wow. So, I mean, so what's the process? I mean, does it, is, is it like they have to file something to get They do. Okay. They have to register with the uh -huh. Solicitor General's office, and they did that. They could go up on the web and register. Uh -huh. And Friday, there were... 450 people who had gone up on the web. Wow. But Saturday morning, 1,500 people were out in the rain, would not leave. Right. And I what happened was, well, I wouldn't either. Yeah, well, leave. But they were able to come in, they registered. Of course, we knew about whatever their troubles mm -hmm, mm -hmm, were. Mm -hmm. And um, if they could not get it expunged, there were people there who told them you have to go another route. Yeah, because okay. I know that, you know, you have some people that have stuff that's not really as severe as, uh, as others, but, you know, it was they, they were young. Maybe they made a mistake. And, you know, now they're mature and they're grown and they realize that they've, they've overcome. Most of them were at very young. Mm -hmm. uh, we had one young lady in particular who I knew, mm -hmm. and she came up to me and she said, Ms. Ziegler, I know this is not what you, ex you were expecting of right, me. Right, right, right. I said, but, you know, you made a mistake. That's You're here. And she said, I was never arrested. Uh -huh. I got into an altercation with my man. That's it. And she was not locked up or anything, but once they gave her a ticket, she had a record. Get out of here. Look at that. So, um, I mean, this is great. And this is, yes. like you said, 1,500 the next day. 1,500 the next day. I know this is helping day. a lot of lives, a yes. lot of people um, be able to move on yes. to be able to uh, do the things that they want to do because the they, they check your background. Every, yes. Everybody's on the background check. We have to in the world. We, we have to. And mm -hmm. this way, it will give them an opportunity to now be able to kind of move forward in life and not have this stigma or this One thing, thing holding them back. One thing that was so rewarding it was a gentleman, a, a nice young gentleman. Uh -huh. And when he got his records expunged, we called him up and said, Joe Blow, your uh -huh. record has been expunged. What are you going to do next? I'm on my way now to get a job. The only thing that was holding me back wow. was this record. And now that it's expunged, I'm going, I'm going to become a driver. 
Wow. But as soon as you were able to get your record expunged, the next place you had to go to mm -hmm. was to do voter registration. Mm. Everybody who got their records exposed to vote. That's went right. to voter registration. This is good. Well, you're doing some amazing things. I mean, and, and, and it's just good to know, and I'm quite sure your phone is going to be ringing up. You're going to get emails because everybody's going to want to so. know, how do, I, how do I find we out what so. I need to know? So that's mostly And we've important. already, there, we're in the talking stages now mm -hmm. of expungement number two. Oh, wow. We know we've got to get a larger facility. Mm -hmm because now that people have heard about it, uh -huh. many more of them Are. want to get their records expunged. Wow, this is great. Now, you have a great event coming up. You guys have the Celebration of Excellence coming up. It's a fundraiser, a scholarship fundraiser. Scholarship fundraiser. Right, so tell us about that. And You're going to honor some great people, we're too. We're doing it exceptionally well with yes. our scholarships because what we want to do is to provide scholarships for more students in the Atlanta Public Schools. Okay. Because that's our service area. Mm -hmm. And you're right, we are honoring some ex some outstanding people. One is our governor, wow. Governor Nathan Deal. Yeah. And he's being honored based on what he has done in terms of expungement and restorative justice. Mm, so that is good. This is yes. going to be a great event. In addition to that, we are recognizing a civil rights legend. Wow. C.T. Vivian. Yes, yes. I just saw him a couple of weeks back. Yes, oh, yes, yes, that is that is great. Yes. This is going to be amazing. So we got to get dressed up. It's you got to get dressed up. As a matter of fact, I mean, okay. it's an all-white affair. Oh. So we are recognizing, as I said, some outstanding people. Uh, Dr. Reverend Raphael Warnock. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. He's one of my that. favorite yeah. people. Oh, uh, We're also I... honoring John Hope Bryant. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I just saw, yes. Yeah. Mr. Brown, oh, he's doing some great things, Brenda too. Brenda Coleman. The uh, we have Janetta Booker. Uh-huh. Lee Dorothy Edmund. You might, and we have husband and wife cardiologists. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's going to be and great. And we have a husband and wife team who are um, chiropractors. Okay, so, so this we're is, doing some. We have some well, look, outstanding. I mean, this, it look, sounds like it's going to be good. This might be, be the fabulous. place to be. It is. Well, we're going to make sure we have the information on WomenRunMoveTV.com so people can get information, be able to click in if they want to. You know, as far as yes. supporting, and they can support either way, coming or just making a Absolutely, donation, right? Because this is open, an affair that's open to the public. Okay, all so right. So we want everybody to come out and witness what we're going to do. It's our celebration of excellence. All right. Well, look, I thank you for coming and sitting down with me just to share a little bit and with great things you're doing. Yes. And, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for but helping the young thank people. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yes, yes. There are people who want tickets. Okay, yes. Oh, gosh. Uh, Atlanta alumni dst.org. Okay, say it again. Atlanta alumni dst.org. Dot org. Okay, well, we're going to do that. And we're going to make sure we put that on the screen Please for you, do. too. Look, we're going to take a break, and I'll be right back. for tuning in to another week of Women on the Move Live. I want to let you know that this show is being brought to you by AARP of Georgia. So again, I'll see you all next week.